Hello students, welcome to Sitara Maya's tutorial. So in this video, we will start September month current affairs and I am covering right from the basic point which will help in both prelims as well as mains. So from both the aspects, I am covering this September month current affairs through the question. So the first question is, what is 106th Constitutional Amendment Act related to? So this Constitutional Amendment Act is related to the reservation of women in Lok Sabha, state legislatives and in Delhi. Okay. Second question under which article women reservation can be provided in Delhi. So Delhi article is article 239 AA. So under this article women reservation will be provided in Delhi. Third question under which article women reservation is provided to the Lok Sabha. So the, to the Lok Sabha it is under article 330A. Okay, for Delhi it is 239AA, for Lok Sabha it is 330A. Fourth question, what is article 334A? Okay, so in 334A, women reservation will be extended based upon the delimitation. So, what is delimitation? For every election, delimitation committee will be formed. So, based on the population, it will uh, border the constituencies. Okay, so for that delimitation will be conducted for every election so based upon the population women reservation will be extended under article 334e fifth question what is the percentage of women representatives in parliament so in parliament the percentage of women representatives is 14 percent sixth question what is the rank of india in global gender gap report 2023 so the rank of india is 127 out of 146 countries under global gender gap report 2023 okay now seventh question is who releases global gender gap report it is world economic forum next eighth question which indian state do not have women representation at all so it is Mizoram. Mizoram state do not have women representation at all. Ninth question is women representation present in panchayats and municipalities? Yes. One third of the women representatives are pan, um, is reserved under constitution 73 and 74th constitutional amendment act. Okay. Tenth question when did general elections held for the first time in india so for the first time in india general elections were held in 1952 11th question what is a model code of conduct okay so model code of conduct is generally issued by the election commission of india okay whenever there will be elections in a particular state or union territory election commission will issue model code of conduct that means all the government schemes all the government programs will be void okay will be stopped in that period okay when it is imposed then all the development activities and programs of the state and union territory will be kept on hold 12th question right to personality comes under which article so right to personality okay right to privacy all this comes under article 21 13th question what is article 98 so under article 98 each house of the parliament will have a separate secretariat staff now what is article 187 so state legislatures should have secretariat okay in, uh, under article 187 state legislature should have secretariat and under article 98 every parliament shall have separate electorate uh, sorry secretariat staff that means lok sabha will have separate and rajya sabha will have separate secretariat staff 15th question in which year they named two secretariats as lok sabha secretariat and rajya sabha secretariat it is in the year 1954 okay next 16th question citizenship comes under which part so it the it the citizenship comes under second part of the constitution okay from article 5 to article 11 17th question what is article 11 so under article 11 parliament has the authority to make any provision regarding to the acquisition of and termination of citizenship okay so if uh, any other countries came as refugees and stayed for in, stayed in India for 12 years or 10 years uh, or anything like that, 
citizenship for them will only be given or any changes in the citizenship can be made only by the parliament under article 11 18th question what is 10th schedule so 10th schedule deals with anti defection law okay so if any political leader of a particular party will uh, <coughs> will jump to other party after elections or if anything uh, like that happens then under anti defection law that person will be disqualified now 19th question if a lawmaker lawmaker means nothing but mps or mlas okay so if a lawmaker is imprisoned for 2 years or more or convicted under which act he is disqualified so if a politician uh, is imprisoned for 2 years or if is if he is convicted then under representation of people's act of 1951 he will be disqualified for elections for the next 6 years okay now 28th question which article deals with the disqualification of mps member of parliament it is article 1 or 2 clause 1 21st question which article deals with disqualification of mlas it is under article 191 clause 1 okay next is brazil a member of g20 so g20 is a group of 20 countries okay they come and discuss upon the global economic issues okay so brazil is a member of g20 even india is also a member of g20 okay and uh, the present president is of g20 is india 23rd question what is the theme of g20 summit 2023 Okay, so the theme of G20 Summit 2023 is Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam or One Earth, One Family and One Future. 24th question, what is the global GDP of G20? So, G20 means a group of 20 countries. So, all the GDP of all these 20 countries is 85%. 25th question, what is the global trade of G20? So, all the, it, it has 75%, okay? Now, 26th question, what is meant by Troika in G20? So, Troika is nothing but a group of three people working together. So, in G20, it is the previous president, the current president and the upcoming president, okay? So, previous president was Indonesia, present is India and the upcoming was Brazil, okay? So, it is Trika. So, if, if they ask Trika of G20, then you have to write Indonesia, India and Brazil. 27th question, what is India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, IMEC? So, IMEC is um, the cross-border rail-to-ship transit network for goods and services transportation between India, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel and Europe. 28th question how many members have signed imec so imec is the india middle east europe economic corridor so imec was signed by eight members that is india us saudi arabia european union uae france germany and italy so recently india and saudi arabia met and they have agreed for this imec okay now 29th question what is a global biofuel alliance so it is a catalytic platform for the adoption of biofuels biofuels means biofuels is nothing but the fuels which are made up of animal waste or plant waste okay so those are the biofuels now 38th question how many countries launched global biofuel alliance in september so in september nine countries okay they are singapore bangladesh italy usa brazil argentina mauritius and uae so all these nine countries have launched global biofuel alliance 31st question what are the initiatives taken by india to boost biofuels so three major government programs were taken by india the first program was pmg1 so it is Jaiv Indan Vatavaran Anukul Fasal Avishesh Nivaran. The second scheme is Satat scheme. It is sustainable alternative towards affordable. Next is uh, third program is Gobardhan scheme. It is galvanizing 
organic bio agro resources dhan okay so all these three are the initiatives taken by india to boost the biofuels in india third is second question how many countries are present in african continent so in total african continent so we know africa is a dark continent and in that african continent there are total number of 55 countries present okay 33rd question how many countries are present in asia so in asia we have 48 countries 34th question how many countries are present in the europe in europe we have 50 countries 35th question what is defense acquisition council so defense acquisition council is the highest decision making body in the defense ministry 36th question so anything anything if if uh, our india want to buy rafale fighter jets or any other missiles this council should ha should take the decision okay that is about the dac next is 36th question who is the head of defense acquisition council so generally the defense minister will be the head of defense acquisition council he is the rajnath singh at present 37th question what is trishna so trishna full form is thermal infrared imaging satellite for high resolution natural resources assessment okay so it will be launched in the year 2025 okay it is a joint initiative taken by france and india okay so it is infrared imaging satellite for assessment of natural resources next 38th question what when is hiroshima day celebrated so every year hiroshima day will be celebrated to remark the dark to remember uh, the nuclear effect in the cities okay so on august 6th every year hiroshima day will be celebrated <coughs> 39th question hiroshima and nagasaki are the cities of which country so they are the cities of japan 48th uh, question what is the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons so this is npt okay treaty on non-proliferation nuclear weapons so here this treaty is an international treaty to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and weapon technology and it promotes peaceful use of nuclear technology so this is about npt 41st question did india sign non-proliferation treaty now what is this npt npt means it prevents the spread of nuclear weapons and promotes peaceful use of nuclear technology okay so india is not a member of npt okay so not only india even pakistan israel and north korea did not sign npt 42nd question what are the nine nuclear armed states so globally we have nine nuclear states that is countries they are us russia uk france china india pakistan north korea and israel so all these nine countries across the world have nuclear technology and nuclear uh, weapons with them okay so these this question is very important 43rd question what was the cuban missile crisis so it took place in the year 1962 so this question is mainly important for mains point of view okay so here um, in the year 1962 at Cuba, American spy plane has secretly taken photographs of the nuclear missiles that are built in Cuba by the Soviet Union. Okay, so the situation became very worse that almost this US and Soviet Union were close to the nuclear war, but proper dialogue and negotiations have prevented this devastating nuclear conflict okay so this is very important even in any war like situations proper negotiations and proper talks will solve and prevent the countries to enter into the war okay so this is about uh, the cuban missile crisis 44th question what is united nations security council so this UNSC is the most powerful body in the United Nations. Okay. So it is one of the six principal organs of the United Nations. 
it ensures peace international peace and security and it is founded in 1947 okay so this was in news because l69 grouping this grouping is nothing but the group of underdeveloped countries and developing countries so they have formed a group to address the reforms in unsc so all the permanent members in this unsc are developed are from the developed uh, nations so even they these uh, l69 group is fighting for uh, proper permanent membership in this unsc okay and in l69 india is the leading member okay 45th question what is international atomic energy agency so it is an intergovernmental organization to promote peaceful use of nuclear energy okay it is established in the year 1957 within the united nations system 46th question what is comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty ctbt so it is a multilateral treaty to ban nuclear weapon test exploitation expo, explosions and uh, any other nuclear explosions for both civilian and military purposes so okay so the ctbt bans the test nuclear tests okay and here before we have learnt about non proliferation treaty non proliferation treaty is the peaceful use of nuclear technology okay and to prevent spread of nuclear weapons and technology okay and here ctbt is to prevent the nuclear weapon tests okay next 47th question is india a member of ctbt no india is not a member of ctbt next 48th question what is the treaty on prohib prohibition of nuclear weapons tpnw so it is the first treaty against nuclear armament so this treaty aims to prohibit the use of atomic weapons and eliminate them completely so this is all about treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons 49th question is india part of treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons no india is not a part of this and none of the nuclear weapon states are part of this tpnw okay 50th question who are the two local ethnic communities in manipur with inter ethnic clashes so maithi and kuki tribes often fight with each other since the formation of its state okay so this is about this now 51st question when did manipur granted statehood so in the year 1972 manipur has granted statehood and uh, it is uh, the inter ethnic conflict between maithi and kuki began from 1972 52nd question which state is called land of jewels it is manipur 53rd question what are the reasons for conflict in manipur so first one is granting st status for maithi community which is a majority population in manipur and the next is government drive against drugs has destroyed 18000 acres of poppy cultivation it is a drug okay since 2017 so here uh, from myanmar to manipur many of them came as refugees okay so they came here and they started drug business drug mafia has been grown in manipur okay so many of the youth are affected with this drug so government has started uh, a drive against drugs to eliminate the spreading of drug mafias and uh, poppy growers so for that this is also one of the reason so government drive against drugs has destroyed around 18000 acres of poppy cultivation from 2017 okay so this drug mafia and poppy growers want to create trouble and to stop drug uh, drive against drugs this conflict has been arise they encourage them okay drug lords sponsored chin national army zomi revolutionary army and other armies small armies in the manipur okay so these are the main reasons of conflict in manipur next 54th question what the status of tiger 2022 report released by so it is released by national tiger conservation authority so as per this uh, report the tiger population has increased to 23.5% between 2018 to 2022 
ఫిఫ్టీ ఫిఫ్త్ క్వశ్చన్ విచ్ స్టేట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా హ్యాస్ ద హయ్యెస్ట్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ టైగర్ పాపులేషన్ సో మధ్యప్రదేశ్ హ్యాస్ ద హయ్యెస్ట్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ టైగర్ పాపులేషన్ ద సెకండ్ హయ్యెస్ట్ ఇస్ కర్ణాటక థర్డ్ హయ్యెస్ట్ ఇస్ తమిళనాడు ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్త్ క్వశ్చన్ విచ్ నేషనల్ పార్క్స్ హ్యావ్ డెన్స్ టైగర్ పాపులేషన్ ఓకే సో టూ నేషనల్ పార్క్స్ హ్యావ్ ఇట్ వన్ ఇస్ జిమ్ కార్బెట్ నేషనల్ పార్క్ ఇన్ ఉత్తరాఖండ్ అండ్ ద అదర్ వన్ ఇస్ కజీరంగ నేషనల్ పార్క్ ఇన్ అస్సాం ఓకే అండ్ వన్ మోర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్ రిమెంబర్ ఇస్ మిజోరాం అండ్ నాగాలాండ్ డు నోట్ డు నాట్ హ్యావ్ టైగర్ పాపులేషన్ అట్ ఆల్ ఓకే ద టైగర్ పాపులేషన్ అట్ మిజోరాం అండ్ నాగాలాండ్ ఇస్ జీరో 